What is going on guys, this is the Morph Gamer and today we've got a Man of the Match card review and one that is close to my heart and one of the best players in the club at the minute is Josh King of Blackburn Rovers. Got this Man of the Match card down to his performance and his hat-trick against Stoke in the FA Cup to put Blackburn Rovers into the quarter-finals against Liverpool and he also had a brilliant game in the last round of the FA Cup against Swansea. He's created two red cards against them and scored three absolute cracking goals against Stoke at the weekend. So, we're going to go and talk about his stats, the positives and negatives about the card. Talk a bit more in-game stats and things like that. And then we're going to have a look at a few goals in the background. So, first things first, he has a pace increase of 2 from a 91 to a 93 overall pace, which is rapid anyway. He's fast, he's quick, he's agile. So, even having that little pace increase makes a hell of a lot of difference. But, to be honest, his original left midfield card is fast anyway. Obviously, this Man of the Match card is similar to his Inform card that he first got for an international performance for Norway. However, this Man of the Match card comes as a club basis and he is still in the strike. He's had a finishing increase from his original left midfield card by 12. His original finishing was 61, it's now 73. Now added that to the pace, he's absolutely deadly. Crucial shots, shot power is 87, which means that if you're going to pop off a few shots, just go for the powerhouse shot, smash it, hold B, don't even bother with any finesse shot, just go for it, because 9 times out of 10, as you'll see in the video with a few of the goals, I've just hit and hoped, and it's just gone flying in, rushing past the keeper, penalties, shots outside the box, things like that, it's just worked for me. So, another increase is we had a dribbling increase of 5 from 73 to 78. Now, to be honest, his dribbling as a silver card wasn't bad at all, 73 isn't a bad attribute to have for your dribbling. However, 78 makes it that whole much different. His actual dribbling stat in the game is 83, which is similar to a lot of gold Premier League players. And that, in turn, with the pace and his weight distribution and his work rates and things like that, just works uh, absolute crucial for him. He's just an unbelievable player. We also, like we've just mentioned, he's got a high-low work rate, which means that if he is in the attacking formation and he's in the striker's position or even a central attacking midfield position he's going to stay up the pitch and not really track back that much but you want him on the last man you want him getting in behind which you can set to instructions and things like that so we can burn out that pace and just gotta get on the end of the ball you'll see in a couple of the clips in the video that i actually start off from behind the defender and they're actually shielding me off but his sheer pace and sort of tenacity to get to the ball just gets him into the space and then he pops off a shot rounding the keeper with his pace you'll see that against casillas beating check beating casillas with a lob and things like that just an app, unreal player to play with. And he did cost me about 1.1 million coins. But to be honest, I'm happy to pay that. Just down to the fact that he's a Blackman Rovers player. And he's a phenomenal card. Some of the negatives are his weak foot, which is only two stars. So to be honest, he is right-footed and you will need to play him on that right-hand side. Now, personally for myself, I actually played him on the left-hand side because I like to cut in against the run of play. I think he would be more beneficial on the right-hand side or maybe playing as a striker up on his own, possibly like a 4-2-3-1 formation and have two centre-attacking midfielders or even two wingers behind him. But I paired him up as a flat 4-4-2 with the Blackman Rovers squad with Rudy Gestead next to him, using that sort of combination of pace, power, and strength and things like that and it worked well for me I came up against some brilliant teams and ended up beating them or at least equalising with them again another negative of the Josh King card is his 62 strength now for his pace yeah he will beat players he, he, there's no doubt about it he'll get past players however with strong defenders and defenders that have got that high defensive work rate and tend to sit off the last man and in, in sort of a sweeper role if you will they're going to get him off of the ball uh, now unless you're running at full pace towards them and just cutting in and out in and out if you're receiving the ball closer to the feet and you're having to work around the uh, defenders nine times out of ten they're going to shield you off the ball and their strength overall is going to be much greater again coming on to that reactions are a massive negative i believe of the josh king card now his pace sort of makes up for it so that the reactions and the decision making doesn't look as prominent but his reactions are only 66 and sometimes he seems to set off late when the ball is actually being played. Which can be frustrating because sometimes slow defenders or even average pace defenders get to the ball quite earlier. But then if you've got that significant pace increase on them, as you'll see in a couple of the clips in the video, the reactions are slow but it works out because of his pace. 
Overall, I've got to score with the Josh King card a 10 out of 10. And that's biased because I am a Blackburn Rovers fan. And the fact that he is such a crucial player. He was underplayed for the start of this season. And he's been brought to life and sort of revitalised his career just down to this FA Cup performance. And personally for myself, if you can keep Jordan Rhodes out of a Blackburn Rovers squad, being the most popular player and things like that, then you're doing something right. And I think that the pairing with a, a powerful striker such as Rudy Gestead or even Jordan Rhodes, or have all three of them up if you want want to go for the game just makes it exciting to watch he brings a new lease of life he'll, he'll just run at players so anyway guys this has been the morph game and this has been a short man of the match card josh king review i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please leave a like subscribe and a comment below i'm gonna try and do a few more informed reviews and man of the match reviews and things like that in the future and until next time peace